Hey everybody, Techie101 here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses, part number four. Alright, well, last time we defeated Tristan uh, Gray, one of Yugi's confederates, and, uh, yeah, I made a few mistakes, uh, or actually a lot of mistakes. Yeah, last, last uh, episode, it's actually kind of a miracle I won. It was kind of just by dumb luck, really. Um, well, actually, I have some uh, little update for you here. See, I actually already dueled my before this, and I got my ass handed to me. Uh, I didn't know what kind of deck she used. I just wanted to go and check it out, so I, uh, I, I dueled her. And, yeah, she had cards that... Um, we're easily over 3,000 points. She had a lot of power-up cards, uh, and even, you know, with Forbidden Memories, a duel could maybe last, like, five, ten minutes. You know, even if you lose, I can go back and duel. Uh, the thing with this game is that the duels are very much longer, easily over 30 minutes, uh, and they're just gonna get longer from here on out. And, uh, after I lose, I just, you know, recorded, like, 30 minutes of footage just to record me losing, and I really don't feel like, you know, dueling right after that, because, you know, I just wasted all that time. Um, so I decided, you know, if I do lose any future duels in the future, I might as well just not even, you know, bother uploading them, because this Let's Play would be, like, incredibly long if I recorded every, because basically I'm gonna do, like, one duel per episode. But anyway, yeah, uh, her field is pretty much entirely, uh, filled with mountains, which boosts her Harpy deck up, and I just, I really didn't have a chance. I even got, like, I worn out my deck, I had all my best cards, my sto my Steel Ogre, my Limiter Removal, Wasteland, I boosted it all up, and I still got my ass kicked, so... Uh, yeah, also, she has a trap card called Shadow of Eyes, which really screwed me over, because Shadow of Eyes prevents you from going in defense position at all, and it was just a major screw-over. So, what I did was, I took advantage of the password system in this game. Now, some of you might be saying I cheated here. Not really, because check this out. I got these new cards over here, right? Like, uh, Sword Stalker, Tactical Warrior. I didn't put them all in, but you got Slate Warrior. So, yeah, if you push R3... That'll pull up the password system. Now, what makes this password system different from, like, the password system in Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories is, number one, uh, you don't have to pay anything in order to get the card. All you need to do is type in the password, uh, and you'll get the card. Now, granted, the password is not the same password found on the cards. Uh, there's a number system and a letter system, as you can see here. Um, so, really just pulling them up on the internet like a list. But also another difference is that there's only about maybe 30 or so cards that you can get through the password system. Now, obviously there's more cards in this game than just 30 or so. Uh, so the game can only can, can still control which gate cards you can get through the password system. And another issue is, of course, the deck cost, uh, format or rule, which... Even if you can get all the best cards through the password system, you can't add them all in your deck because your deck cost will be through the roof. So, um, as you can see, my deck cost did increase quite a bit. It's now up to 918. It was only 854 last turn, uh, last episode. Uh, so I added some new ones here. Let's put this here. Which cards I added new? I added another Robotic Knight. Uh, this one I'm actually going to be using as a card. Uh, Robotic Knight has the ability to boost up. Hold on a second has the ability to increase uh, the power of machine monsters by 300 bonus points, so we'll have him as an actual card. Something else that I added in was, uh... Oh, I still have Cyberstein, but I want to get another Cyber Commander at one point. This guy right here, Barrel Dragon. Yeah, this is probably going to be our new strong card, or our new strongest card. When this card is flipped face up, one card other than this card is randomly selected for destruction, so that's pretty good. And then Blast Sphere which is a card that once it's uh, destroyed, destroys pretty much everything around it. Uh, so that's pretty handy. I also added in, um, I had to throw in a lot of weak cards in here too to balance out my desk cost. Uh, so that's another thing you're going to use. Uh, Mimic Hat, which is like a copycat card. I can revive one card from either graveyard. And aside from that, I think that's the only ones that I really added that were any real significance. Um, but yeah, I made some updates to my deck. And the only other way to get good cards in this game is to either win them from opponents from the uh, the, the uh, graveyard slots or to do a thing called reincarnation, which we actually have not unlocked yet. But once I win, I think it's five duels, you can do a thing called reincarnating where if you have three of the same card, you can press L3 and that'll actually change those three cards into a brand new card. And that's, that's called reincarnation. But we haven't accessed that, so there's no point in me really going in depth there but hey how many uh, games on the PlayStation 2 do you know that actually utilize the L3 and R3 function on the analog stick not very many so this game was taking advantage of its process all right well uh, I'm gonna go and take on my again Margaret my Beaufort of Canterbury so you're the one who betrayed those who summoned you I guess I'll have to show you the error of your ways <laughs> 
Oh my, 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 my. Also, it says that I still haven't lost any duels. That's because um, I did lose to her, but I just reset back uh, at an earlier save slot. So that's the reason that came up. But yeah, man, my is, ah, uh, oh, damn, with the layers. I gotta reset the lair every time I start a new duel. But yeah, as you can see with her deck, I mean, with her field, uh, it's almost entirely mountain. Now, we do get a little bit of a, of a bonus here. We have wasteland fields on the edges, which is where I was basically just clamoring toward the sides last duel. Um, but her deck leader is Harpy Lady. And, uh, oh, I didn't even notice that last time. She had, that's the uh, censored version of Harpy Lady. Yeah, the original Japanese card uh, was a little bit skimpy. Yeah, uh, they added that, like, purple jumpsuit to her in the English release. They must have changed that for the game as well. But yeah, her uh, leader ability allows increased movement for her cards. Uh, so yeah, not fun at all. So yeah, she has Harpy's Pet Dragon, which has over 2,500 attack points with the terrain boost. And she has a bunch of boost cards. And she can summon Harpy Lady Sisters, which gives it another freaking bonus. It's just, it's, a, it's fucking absurd. So hopefully we'll get some better cards this turn. And it looks like we already have. Uh, we have our Cyber Commander here, but I'm going to throw out, uh, you know what? I'm going to throw out Zombie Warrior to start, because we can move him over to the Wasteland Field and power him up to 1700. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. Uh, hopefully I'll do better this time, because, you know, these duels, man, they last so long, and it's like, you lose a duel after, like, 30 minutes, it's just like, fuck, you don't even want to keep playing. Uh, but yeah, I made a lot of mistakes last time. Oh, awesome, we got Barrel Dragon, good. I'm gonna throw out Bear Trap so I can, uh, you know, that's a trap card. So I can, um, get that going. Yeah, but I made a lot of mistakes last turn, and, uh, like, one of the biggest one was I didn't account for the terrain when I had my, uh, Steel Ogre attack. I think it was the Sorcerer of the Doomed. And I was just like, what the hell happened? See, what happened there is, I love how everyone was just like, oh, he doesn't know how terrain works. So, like, guys, listen, I know how fucking terrain works, okay? Uh, and I could give you, so why did, why did, why did you make that mistake, Matt? Uh, I can tell you the reason. The reason is because it's completely different to play this game and actually focus on the turn, and then it's another thing entirely to try to commentate over it while doing a fucking Let's Play. So, yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like I said, it's more strategic. It's like playing chess. I mean, I'm gonna move Robotic Knight over here. Um... You know, playing chess is supposed to be quiet. You're supposed to, like, take each turn and plan out what your opponent's going to do and actually think shit through before you make each turn. Um, you don't have somebody talking to you in the meantime. Oh, shit, that card's stronger than 2,000. Yeah, Bear Trap destroys any card that has higher than 2,000. I mean, lower than 2,000 attack. So that card right there is uh, stronger than 2,000. But, yeah. Um, so that's the reason. Uh, another thing is I wasn't paying attention to my card stats. I was paying attention to the other card. Like, the other card didn't get stronger, so that's what was, you know, confusing me. I'm like, why didn't the Sorcerer get stronger but still defeated me? I wasn't paying attention to the downgrade. But yes, I know how terrain works. I've actually played the Yu-Gi-Oh! game before, and machines get powered down on the sea field in the actual game as well. So yes, I know how it works. I was just not paying attention, and I've made a bunch of other stupid mistakes, and I'll continue to make mistakes in the future, but it's not because I don't know how the fucking rules are, it's just, um, you know, I'm talking, I'm commentating, I'm going off on a tangent, probably telling you, I mean, I'm playing this game, and, I, I mean, it would be boring as fuck if we just sat there for 30 minutes while I'm just playing this game, not talking, I have to talk, I have to commentate, but, um, hey, that's a handicap, I guess. Alright, this card is probably gonna kick the shit out of my zombie warrior. In fact, I know for a fact it's gonna kick the shit out of my zombie warrior. So... I'm gonna do this. Uh... Ooh, wasteland field. I'm gonna wait until I get closer to that to summon that. The wasteland field. There's no point in me doing it right now. Actually, hold on a second. It just says all machine. Okay, so even if I summon a machine after this, yeah, should still be all right. All right, there we go. Got my royal guard up to 2,700. So it should be able to kill, I'm assuming, whatever it's hiding under there. You know, if the space gods are kind. But yeah, she's going to bust out that shadow of eyes. I got to get that out sooner or later. Come on. What do you got? Aha! You fucking... Empress Judge. Yeah, you're gonna taste some pain now. Did we already have a battle with Royal Guard? I think we did, yeah. I don't need to see another battle with him. He did the laser shit. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it, my! 
And normally, wait, what do we got here? Oh yeah, I'm dead. But still, still look at that. 2,500 attack. Shit is that, man. And that's on the wasteland field. That's not even with the fucking terrain boost. But yeah, in Forbidden Memories, you know, if you lose a duel, sometimes you could just chalk that up to, oh, that's just, uh, you got a bad hand or you got shitty cards. But in this game, you know, I really went through every card in my deck. The strongest cards in my deck, the strongest com combos in my deck, and I still got my ass kicked. So, you know, it's just one of those things where, I mean, I don't think I'm cheating using the fucking password system. Yeah, I can win this. Yeah. Yes. Because, I mean, it's not like I'm hacking the game's code or changing anything around. I'm just uh, using the password system that it provides. I actually want to see this because I want to kick the shit out of this dragon. That dragon... I fucked up my day last time. Try beam laser thing. I'm eating a fast break bar right now. That's some good peanut butter. I think there's some marshmallow in there too. Yeah. It's gooey. I win! Man, we're not even using any cards that I got. Any new ones. I'm just... I don't know. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna throw out Wasteland, but I'm not gonna activate it yet. I'm gonna see if I can squirm it more to the center of the field or closer to her deck leader, because that's where she's gonna... She has a habit of clustering all her cards around her deck leader, like that. And, um, if I can change that whole... F if I can change... Oh, fire! you're starting with this shit again, huh? If I can get it closer to her deck leader, that'd be awesome. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna throw out... Is it time for Barrel Dragon? Well, Barrel Dragon actually has to be flipped face down in order for his effect to take effect, so... Yeah, I'm gonna keep him here, but... Move oil guard up. I think I'm gonna move. Nah, I have to keep him in defense position. Uh... Well, actually, I don't think. Now, Mai can't do anything this turn. She can't attack me next turn, so there's no point in me doing that. Alright, I'll change him back in defense position at the end of next turn. Fuck you, Mai. I hate you. Oh, yeah, damn right, advanced movement. Well, that took care of my idea. I wonder, can they actually... Can you see what her card can move? I don't think you can. No, you can't. All right. I need to summon something. My deck leader is going to get shit kicked. Mm. What does... Uh, hold on, let me just read this again. When this card is flipped face up, one card other than... It, one card other than your own card is randomly selected for destruction. Alright, so we got... Four cards up here that she's got, and then her Typhoon. It was 2,700. That's the same as my freaking... I mean, Barrel Dragon should be able to take it. I'm really pissed now that I lost my Wasteland, but luckily I have that Mimic card in my deck, which I draw that, then uh, I can bring back Wasteland and I can use it again. Hopefully. Uh, I'm going to have to defend. Because I have a pretty shitty hand. I will defend. Oh, what does this make? Cyber Soldier? Yeah, Cyber Soldier. No. Move Barrel Dragon closer to her. Move Royal Guard up here. Okay. So far, so good. I mean, she's doing this shit again and again, but she's going to attack that. Yeah, I'm going to lose. Typhoon, Typhoon. Typhoon, Typhoon, whatever. It's 
like a vagina dragon with the big gaping hole in front, but whatever. All right, look at her. She's got her little cronies just all around her. Ugh, this is going to be fun. I'm not even sure Royal Guard can take this. Actually, you know what? I'm not even taking any chances. Barrel dragon up. I need to summon something right now or I'm fucked, though. She's going to attack my deck leader next turn. Ooh, limited removal. Ah, damn it, I can't summon him. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um... Fuck. I would say that she wouldn't be able to attack me next turn because of the advanced movement, but I, isn't that only on the mountain field? I might have to take some hits. If I move him over, his boost is going to go down. You know what? I'll take the hit if I take the hit. Yep. It's all good. Aha! You're yeah! targeted! Search and destroyed. Fuck. This is gonna be an awesome fight. These harpies are gonna get barrel fucked. Oh, check it out! Three barrels for three harpies. This is so serendipitous. Oh god, they're doing their rainbow glitter attack. Oh shit. Extermination attack, or whatever the hell that magic card's called. But hey, it's not. We working on my barrel dragon. Did I fire six shots or 11,345? Oh, man. That's how it's done! That is how it is done! Yeah! Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. But, you know, whatever. I took out one of her cards, so, you know, that's always a plus. Okay. Right. Wish I could play limited removal this turn. That would be great. But I can't. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here's what I get. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. Why do you have 2,200 attack? What did she... How did you get 1,000? Did she, like, boost you up with, like, fucking follow wins and gust fans or whatever? It can move two spaces, so even if I do that. Alright, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do this. I don't wanna waste my ogre, but I'm gonna have to. Oh wait, no, I might not oh wait, no, 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 I'm not, because yeah, it's gonna go up. Alright, 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 I'm a fucking idiot. There, I was worried there I was gonna die. Okay, that was a mistake I made that was actually kind of in my favor there. There we go. I forgot. See, that's another thing too. Yeah, I'm summoning my ogre on the mountain field, but I'm attacking on the wasteland. So you always attack the card. Whatever card you're attacking, that's the field that you have to pay attention to. Which, that can get a bit confusing. Because, you know. Right. I wish I could get that mimic card, but I have limiter removal too, so that'll help me out considerably. You and your fucking power increases! Fuck you, my. Fuck you so hard. Ugh. Alright, what do we got? Doma. Uh... I'm trying to think if there's any really strong... Because there's not really other really strong machines in my deck. I mean, there's like Pendulum Machine and Brave Scissor and shit, but there aren't... Barrel Dragon and Royal Guard and Steel Ogre are my strongest machines at the moment, so I'm just gonna throw out uh, Limiter Removal. Cause I have all my I have all my strongest guys right now on the field. Plus I have Robotic Knight, he could give us a boost. There we go. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 4000. All right. 
I think Barrel Dragon can actually start making his uh, journey over. He should be able to take out pretty much anything. Because as long as she doesn't have a Harpy Lady Sisters out, that's that's what gives the boost to the... Harpy's Lady Sisters gives a 900 boost bonus to a Harpy's Pet Dragons. But as long as she doesn't have any of those out, we should be fine. Yeah, she's not attacking any of uh, my guys, so yeah. Gotta start going on the offensive here, big time. Okay, Stone Ogre, start moving... Steel Ogre, sorry. Moving up. Move up there. Cyber Commander. I mean, Cyber Stein. Uh, I'm gonna summon Doma. Oh, what does that make? Fusion, huh? Oh, Blackland. Eh. Alright, I guess. We have better, though. It's an effect card. Oh, look how fucking strong that thing is, though! What are, what's the effect? Uh, I get spellbound? How long? Just one turn? Okay. I can deal with that. I can deal. 3,600 defense. She has that Shadow of Eyes there somewhere. I know it. It's not a big deal, but when Shadow of Eyes is activated, Cyber Commander is going to get knocked into attack position, and that's going to lose some points there. But I don't think she can activate it unless I trigger it. don't think that's the case, so yeah. Hurry up. Hope I draw that Mimic card. What do I got? Yes! Okay, good. So let's use that. Alright, I want my Wasteland card back. And I can't use it this turn, but I have it back. Now, I could have used that to summon Harpy's Pet Dragon, in theory. Uh, but that would only have 2,500 attack, which is alright, but it's not, uh, not the best. And I'm trying to strengthen up my, my, uh, machines here. Really waiting for that Wasteland card to just get a little bit closer with that. Just a little. Just a tad. I'm gonna fuck over her, uh, her home field advantage here in a second. And also, I got me a Blast Sphere. All cards located in the surrounding 3x3 three three area are automatically destroyed. Surrounding 3x3, three three, what does that entail? 3x3, three three, so that's like, this is space 1, so it'll be everything within the 9 spaces around the card will get, get obliterated. So, I gotta use that with some careful consideration on my part. All right, what's this? Shit, man. I'm getting really antsy that I'm this close to her. Yeah, her cards always spell by me. You can see how this game was set up, though. You can see how it was set up that you can't just easily just go in there and steamroll. Even if you go and use the password system and get all the best cards, and you know, you, you, it's not set up so you can just go and just kick their ass in a few turns. Alright, got rid of Doma. I mean, yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's nothing. I, I'm pretty sure Doma's not powerful enough to beat anything here. Can't do anything with Steel. I mean, can't do anything with uh, Barrel Dragon this turn. Alright, now I'm going to set out Blast Sphere. Oh, right, right. Ah, uh, okay. Um, I'm going to wait until Doma disappears then. So, until then, though, let's play Spark. No, I want to play Sparks. Pretty simple card, doesn't really do shit, but hey, why not? Might as well give it a, a little bit of a sparky action. Bow! Also, I pay so much attention to attacking the deck leader, I forget their actual life points. Like, she's already down to 1,200 life points. That's what happened with Tristan. It's like, I won, and I was like, how? I'm so focused on getting to her deck leader, I'm forgetting all the other damage I'm doing. But I should have no problem in beating her, provided she doesn't have a trap card or something that can really uh, fuck up my day. 
Okay, so she's probably going to destroy Doma next turn. But that's not going to be a big deal. Attack this thing. Yes, I know. Uh, I'm afraid to do that, but... Okay, how much are you going to have off the field? 2,800? That should be all right. She's getting squirrely there. Damn it. What are you fusing? I don't like these fusions, baby. You gotta stop doing that. You gotta you gotta cut the fusions. Oh, now she's getting squirrely. Oh, she didn't even attack Doma. All right, now I think we can trigger. Oh, I can't. Oh, I fucked that up. Probably. Well, maybe not. We don't know. I keep forgetting. You can't move and activate your. Isn't that so weird? You can't move and activate the spell cards in the same turn. That's so fucking weird. Uh. Fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Wait, what? That's... What? When she used this last turn, I tried to set my cards into defense position afterwards, and it wouldn't work. So, what's the... With that... What do we got here? We got a uh, blue wing crown. All right, I should be able to take that out, no problem. Death. Okay, moving forward. Twenty-eight hundred as well. Okay, now can I throw out? I can't summon anything, right? I still, I still have too many cards on the field. Right. Ah, you didn't do it. Yes. Oh, thank you, Lord. Aha! Yes! The rise of the wastelands, biatch. Oh, I won. Yeah, I didn't even have to do that. Well, that was kind of anticlimactic. I didn't even get to use my cool move. But yeah, there we go. All right. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, what do we got? Oh, I like that follow wind, but I think... Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good. Gus fan. That's good. That's a good card, I guess. Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking a goblin fan. Shit. Okay, well, didn't win much of anything. But I won. That's all that matters. Losing to the likes of you makes my skin crawl. You shall not be so lucky when you reach the continent, for Yugi and his followers are a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, Mai was actually the lady that's, whose idea it was to summon us to begin with, so she's probably pretty pissed. All right, so, yeah, we get to travel now. We get to go to the port town and uh, go to Dover. Where we will, I don't think any, I don't think we'll do anyone in Dover. Because I think it's just traveling. You know what, let's go to Dover, because it doesn't say we're going to be dueling anybody. Let's just go there and see um, the next part of the story, I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to save the old-fashioned way here. Um, just in case anything happens. We at least have that. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's go check out Dover. What's going on there? Oh, it's Mako Tsunami! If you're looking for a boat to take you to the continent, climb aboard. Awesome, Mako's the ferryman in this world. So yeah, we're just uh, invading France. All right, landlubber, if you want to reach the continent, you'll have to face me in a duel. Me? My name is Mako, card mercenary of Brita... Br Britagne? Britagne? All right. At sea, you're in my element. I've been waiting for you to cross my path. Defeat me and I'll deliver you to the shores of... Br b b b fuck you, France! You have so many complicated words! Frickin' France, man. Alright, well, I guess we're dueling Mako. 
I, I don't think this is a guy that has a Red Rose card, though, because... Well, I mean, he has the Red Rose logo, but it's so weird. He didn't they, they didn't come up that I was dueling him in Dover. It should have come up his... I don't even know what this guy's fucking deck cost is. All right, anyway, yeah, I guess next episode we're dueling Mako. So catch us back here next time. Freaking freaky fish guy.